In this tutorial, we will take a look at the Nautilus File Manager, and we'll discuss the basics of the Nautilus File Manager, and what exactly a file manager does, and how it compares to Windows Explorer, which is the Windows File Manager. The default file manager in the GNOME desktop environment that comes with Ubuntu Linux is called Nautilus. Nautilus is available in the menu tree under Places. This is one place to, to get to the Nautilus File Manager. There are other ways to get to the Nautilus File Manager. But clicking on Home Folder will open up the Nautilus File Manager. Now you'll see the title of uh, the window is File Browser. And if you go to the Help menu and down to About, you will see that this is Nautilus. Again, Nautilus is the graphical file manager for Ubuntu Linux and for the GNOME desktop. This would be the equivalent of Windows Explorer in the Windows operating system. Now, Windows Explorer is different from Internet Explorer. Of course, Internet Explorer is the web browser that comes with Windows. But Windows Explorer is the file manager that is available when you, for example, double-click on the My Computer on your Windows desktop. This particular application, Nautilus, is the equivalent of that. Now, the very basics of the Nautilus file manager, as you can see, are as follows. There is, uh, there are menus at the very top, file, edit, view, go, bookmarks, and help. There is also a, an icon bar, up, reload, home, computer, and search. The next section of the top half of the screen contains uh, shortcuts and buttons that appear and disappear as you navigate through the menu tree. This will become more evident later on. There's also a way to s easily zoom in and zoom out and also to change the view as properties, view as a list or viewing as icons. Now those who are ha Ma Macintosh users using the Mac OS N may recognize this format of a file manager. It's somewhat similar to the Finder. On the far left hand side are shortcuts or places to various locations on the file system. And in the main panel in the lower right hand corner of the screen is the active panel or this shows the contents of the directory that one is in at, at any given time. Now, closing out of the file manager, again, there are multiple ways to, to get to the file manager. One is through the home folder. The, the computer icon takes one to a, to an equivalent of, of the my computer on Windows. That is, it shows the various drives that are available. But clicking on home, again, takes one back to the home folder. Now, the Nautilus file manager window, like, most windows can be resized simply clicking the middle button and then going to the right hand corner in the in the bottom of the screen allows one to resize the file manager window and move it around the screen as necessary additionally in the bottom section of the file manager window is an information bar this will change depending on the context of the action uh, being taken or the, or the location being viewed but currently it lists the number of items in this particular folder, which is, again is the home folder, and the amount of free space on this particular hard drive. Now the desktop folder is a special folder. It is the equivalent of the desktop out here on the main screen. In other words, placing a shortcut on the desktop, as discussed in another tutorial, shows the same shortcut in the desktop folder. In other words, the desktop contents is actually the contents of this particular desktop folder. That is the conclusion of this episode on the basics of the Nautilus File Manager.